So I do expect to see that, although I understand how click intensive that is. People kind of underestimate um, construction. They think it just costs money. Not only does it cost money, it's uh, incredibly click intensive. Don't worry, Navri. See, it's already, it's already coming back. I do this every two to three weeks. I become baby face and short haired. It, uh, it was a little early this time, but uh, I'm so busy for Father's Day and my birthday that uh, before it gets annoyingly long, I wanted to get it cut. cut. Hi ho. So a while back, I made a tickle video and um, I still love that trigger um, I almost hid the chat for tonight um, I hid the the timing that's usually there um, just because it is a little visual um, but hopefully this uh, this still gets nice and tingly for you so I hope everyone's doing well I'm going to start with that tickle tickle trigger um, but I always know it it's hard with um, like it takes your breath away so I'm sure I will chat in between. Um, me too, Quartz. I, I guess I never disliked them, but I didn't really get them. And now I almost exclusively watch um, fast ASMR. But I'm really good. How about you, Quartz? Okay, let's get started. And we should have... What, this would be your left side, right? And this should be uh, your right side, so let's get started. So
elongate the hiring process for that quartz. He hasn't really started it yet. got any other spots you want me to um
um, since I mostly whispered. So we, I'm so glad we got the sides with the mic down. Um, in a kind of reversal of what I usually do, I'll do a mix of um, whispered and soft speaking for the uh, for the reading. So there is no lake. largest lake in Texas. That was over a hundred years ago. Now it is just a dry, flat wasteland. There used to be a town of Green Lake as well. The town shriveled up along with the lake and the people who lived there. During the summer, the daytime temperature hovers around 95 degrees in the shade, if you can find any shade. There's not much shade in a big dry lake. So let's do this hydrate, thank you North. Somewhat civic, you know, drop that prime sub, but KFC. <laughs> Maybe I should raid him after. <laughs> oh, you guys. The only trees are two old oaks on the eastern edge of the lake. A hammock is stretched between the two trees, and a log cabin stands behind that. The campers are forbidden to lie in the hammock. It belongs to the warden. The warden owns the shade. Out on the lake, rattlesnakes and scorpions find shade under rocks and in the holes dug by the campers. Here's a good rule to remember about rattlesnakes and scorpions. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you, usually. And uh, yes, Civic, um, it'll go on the request list. However, if you watch often, as that raffle timer just explained, you could potentially win a monthly raffle and you could request next stream for ASMR for the whole 30 minutes, so long as it's not going to get me TOS'd. Being bitten by a scorpion or even a rattlesnake is not the worst thing that can happen to you. You won't die, usually. Sometimes a camper will try to be bitten by a scorpion even a small rattlesnake. Then he will get to spend a day or two recovering in his tent instead of having to dig a hole out on the lake. But you don't want to be bitten by a yellow spotted lizard. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. How much money you got, Civic? You will die a slow and painful death. Always. If you get bitten by a yellow spotted lizard, you might as well go into the shade of the oak trees and lie in the hammock. 
because there is nothing anyone can do to you anymore. Yeah, I think that's a good deal, Jonathan. The reader is probably asking, why would anyone go to Camp Green Lake? Most campers weren't given a choice. Camp Green Lake is a camp for bad boys. If you take a bad boy and make him dig a hole every day in the hot sun, it will turn him into a good boy. That was what some people thought. Stanley Yelnats was given a choice. The judge said, you may go to jail or you may go to Camp Green Lake. Stanley was from a poor family. He had never been to camp before. Is that what I'm supposed to, uh, supposed to read? Is that the uh, $300 request, Civic? Do you need to dig some holes? Stanley Yelnats was the only passenger on the bus, not counting the driver or the guard. The guard sat next to the driver with his seat turned around facing Stanley. A rifle lay across his lap. Stanley was sitting about ten rows back, handcuffed to his armrest. His backpack lay on the seat next to him. It contained his toothbrush, toothpaste, and a box of stationery his mother had given him. He promised to write to her at least once a week. Um, courts, I've never really done that per se. I consider the monthly raffle sort of like custom ASMR. And um, I think that, uh, you know, you can just request and I eventually get most of the triggers that I can do. Um, I do know that's possibly a way to make, you know, kind of that specific private video money, but I think it can get very um, iffy very fast, and yes it is, Holes. I'm reading it right now, Courts, and it's so good. The movie and the book are so good. Also, hi, Indigo. We did, um, for a while. We just like having, um, contrarian opinions. Courts. It's literally so good. Yeah, I love, I love the tickle trigger. Oh, maybe if you read it as a not for school chords. Um, I never really read what I was assigned in school. So I had read it on my own loved the movie so we'll finish up this page and uh, wrap things up here in a minute but um, like I said Buddha Mouse if you like not only do I already have some up, like uploads of it on my YouTube um, but I will be um, uploading this one to my YouTube tomorrow. Like, I'll upload it tonight, but it'll be visible tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's the one with that actor, whatever his name is. I can't think of it right now. Um, where was it? He looked out the window, although there wasn't much to see mostly fields of hay and cotton. 
He was on a long bus ride to nowhere. The bus wasn't air conditioned and the hot, heavy air was almost as stifling as the handcuffs. Uh, yeah, I can never say his name. And I, Kamal Dip, we just finished. Tickle, 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 tickle. So I've been kind of throwing it in randomly. Tickle, 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 tickle. Shia LaBuffy. parents had tried to pretend that he was just going to away to camp, just like rich kids do. When Stanley was younger, he used to play with stuffed animals and pretend the animals were at camp. Camp fun and games, he called it. Sometimes he'd have them play soccer with a marble. Other times they'd run an obstacle course or go bungee jumping off a table tied to broken rubber bands. Now Stanley tried to pretend he was going to camp fun and games. Maybe he'd make some friends, he thought. At least he'd get to swim in a lake. Oh gosh, thank you so much, Quartz. Um, KFC is a long-term viewer. He kind of comes and goes. And apparently he got distracted tonight by um, a bit of a troll streamer, but I, uh, that's, a, that's a good person for it to go to. He didn't have any friends at home. He was overweight, and the kids at his middle school often teased him about his size. Even his teacher sometimes made cruel comments without realizing it. On his last day of school, his math teacher, Mrs. Bell, taught ratios. As an example, she chose the heaviest kid in the class and the lightest kid in the class and had them weigh themselves. Stanley weighed three times as much as the other boy. Mrs. Bell wrote the ratio on the board, three to one. Three to one. Unaware of how much embarrassment she had caused both of them, Stanley was arrested later that day. I'm actually reading this right now for, for fun. I'm about halfway. I just wasn't sure how different the book was from the movie. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's obviously very simple to read, but... So, we went a little over time here. Um, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. I was really happy with how my voice is uh, cooperating with uh, tickle, 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 tickle. Sometimes it doesn't do it right, you know. Tickle, 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 tickle. But tonight it was tickle, 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 tickle. Yep, thank you, Courts. We got a, we got a Discord. We got a YouTube. Um, we got a good little community. If you're here just for the ASMR, Gamal and, um, I'm sorry, what was your name? Let's see. Sorry with the P there. Buddha Mouse. Um, sorry if I'm butchering it, but we do ASMR on Thursdays at this time, so I also do kind of ASMR on Sundays, but I'll probably be busy this Sunday for Father's Day. We'll see. And then it's my birthday on Monday. So, if you're really just here for ASMR, that's fine. I do have some redeems you can do on my gaming streams. And it is worth tuning in for those, um, for a chance to win the monthly raffle where you can request for the full 30 minutes of what I'll do for ASMR. Um, but yeah, of course, I do plan to beat Buffy on Monday. There's just two more levels left, so, um, let's see, I might not raid anybody unless that Mad Match guy is streaming. I don't know any other 
ASM artists of my style. Um, thank you guys. Um, but yeah, if you're just here for the ASMR, that's fine. I do it on Thursdays, and I probably won't raid. I'm a little tired to look through all this, and I really wanted to game a little bit tonight, so, um, yeah. So, maybe see you next Thursday, otherwise sometime this weekend for some RuneScape content, Monday for a birthday Buffy stream, um, and then Tuesday for our usual RuneScape giveaway. That Thursday for ASMR. So <laughs> thank you, everybody. <laughs>